Hey guys, it's Jessica from This Plus Life. Welcome to my first vlog. Um, I definitely was not planning on wearing a headband and a hoodie to do my very first vlog, but um, it's been raining here off and on for a couple days, and I'll go out and do my errands in the morning and plan to do the vlog in the afternoon, and my hair just gets fluffed out like a poodle because of the humidity or the rain. Um, and so today, I went out to Target, did my errands, I came back, I'm like, you know what? We're doing this. So, um, yes, that is my first debut, my vlog debut into the blog world. This is what I'm wearing. These are the choices that I make. Um, and also, I just want to apologize, A, to those of you who have never met me in real life, and B, to those of you who did know me um, before and haven't seen me in years. Um, yes, a vlog is a great way to realize that um, your cheeks look incredibly chubby. <laughs> when you take a video. And so basically, thanks to this vlog, I will basically be going on a diet instantly. Like literally like right after we're done here, I'm going to start dieting. Um, I've always had chubby cheeks and then watching myself for the practice video, I was like, oh my word, this is bad. Um, but anyway, let's get to the point of why we're here. I've been doing a series on clean eating and I've gotten a lot of really sweet emails and comments, people uh, saying they appreciate it, so thank you for letting, giving me feedback, that's really kind of you. Um, to be honest, I'm just getting a little bit sick of writing and hearing my thoughts or reading my thoughts online. Um, it's just kind of an in-depth uh, topic that we've been talking about. So I just thought, okay, we're going to switch it up a little bit and I've always loved the part um, in Rachel Ray, if, you have ever, if anybody gets um, Every Day with Rachel Ray, in the back, uh, the the last piece of paper, oh my word, the last uh, segment in the back of the magazine, she always interviews a celebrity uh, and looks inside their kitchen and opens their kitchen door. So I thought, okay, that kind of fits what we're doing. It's always been, I always turn right to the back page when I get her magazine because I think that that's just really cool and funny. Um, so I thought, okay, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to... Um, go through my fridge and freezer and I'll just show you some of the products that I buy. Maybe you'll get um, see a product that you haven't tried before but you'd be interested to try now. And um, yeah, this may end up being the most boring vlog you've ever watched on the internet. <laughs> so feel free if you already think this is a dumb idea to stop now. But hopefully some of you will stick it out. And um, I tend to talk fast but I also talk a lot according to my husband. So um, I'm going to try to slow down my speech and also not to make this you know, a 45-minute documentary on my fridge. So, um, I have absolutely no idea how to edit uh, a video. I'm sorry. So, I'm literally just going to take my camera right now and move it to my fridge. So, if you get really bad motion sickness, you can close your eyes now. Close your eyes. And I'm going to pick up the camera. And we're going to move to my fridge. And, yes, I have a toddler. We have toys always on the fridge. But here is my fridge. So... Here we go. Uh, I don't know why I just made that sound. Sorry. <laughs> uh, anyway, we'll start up here. Uh, we talked about butter a lot on the vlog, on the my regular blog. Um, I do not buy organic butter yet. I want to. Um, and if you hear my son moaning in the background, he's watching a George video in his crib and he talks to the video. I promise I am not being neglectful. He just. So you can hear me. He just said George. He talks. It's interactive in our house when we watch videos. Um, so he is fine. Um, anyway, um, I want to start buying organic butter. Uh, a friend of mine told me they sell organic butter for decent price at BJ's, which in the Northeast is like a wholesale club, kind of like Sam's Club. So hopefully um, I can get over there. I don't have a membership, but my mom does. So one of these days I want to go over there and check out their organic butter. Um, this dish, too, is just butter, and it looks really nasty, but I stopped buying. I was buying the Land O'Lakes tub, like this big of... Um, uh, butter mixed with canola oil just to make it easier to spread and it's very convenient don't get me wrong but I just decided okay that's one more process thing I don't really need to have so I keep butter in a dish pop it in the microwave for a couple seconds if I need to um, for toast or whatever for Luke and there you go so just one more thing I tried to cut back on let's move down to the next shelf um, P.S. my mom told me about this she's a chocoholic self-proclaimed uh, people, Lynn Excellence Touches Sea Salt Dark, fabulous. So, so, so good. Um, so you can see that I have my yeast. Um, I have some raw sunflower seeds from Trader Joe's, thanks to a tip from my friend Amber, I believe. Thank you, Amber. Um, here's the almonds that I use. Um, I used those for the autumn salad I posted a couple days ago. Again, I just want to caution you guys. You would not believe, well, maybe you would, um, 
a lot of times you go to the store in the dried fruit and nut section, they have so much junk in them. Um, preservatives and even like artificial colors sometimes. Nasty stuff. So I know it's a little too blurry, but it just says ingredients, sliced almonds. That's what you want to look for when you're buying any kind of raw fruit or nut like that. Uh, just a little tip for you. It's kind of annoying, but once again, just be a label hawk. Read everything. Um, this is my mayonnaise, which uh, you can see, Expeller Press, that's what we like, the keyword, we found it, um, you, from my Fast and Oils post yesterday. Um, 365, as I learned, is the Whole Foods brand. I'm very new to shopping at Whole Foods, but I was told that everything at Whole Foods and then Trader Joe's, um, the store's policy is not to use anything that's genetically modified, so I'm going on faith if that's true. Um, regardless, it was just nice to find Expeller Press Canola Oil, because you know what? I could make my own mayo, but people, let's be honest, there's some things in life that I just don't have the time for. That may be down the road. Right now, I don't eat mayo hardly ever, just when I make tuna or like deviled eggs. Um, wow, we've talked a long time about mayo, and I'm really sorry. We're moving on. Anyway, that's my mayo. Um, maple syrup. Just say no to Aunt Jemima's, guys. I was hooked on Aunt Jemima's for years. Not just Aunt Jemima's, like Aunt Jemima's, which is even worse. Um, use it all the time, not just on um, waffles and pancakes, but also on my oatmeal. Super, super good. And I do have organic ketchup, but it was on sale, and it was actually cheaper than the regular kind of ketchup, so of course I bought it. We don't eat a lot of ketchup in our house, so that's not a huge priority for me. But again, if you see an organic brand of something and it's affordable, try to buy it and support. Um, just let that company know, like, okay, great, I want to support organic food. Just try. Um, and last but not least on this shelf, Parmesan cheese, which my friend Erin pointed out very kindly in my spaghetti post that it has fillers in it, and I did not even think, but sure enough, it has preservatives in it. So the last of it, I have a little bit left, and I will not be using it after that. Um, let's move down to the next shelf. Oh, my word, this is going to be a long video. I'm trying. Um, this is the shelf where I have a lot of... Um, bulk items. So I have chia seeds here, and I don't think I've ever talked about these guys, but they are awesome. They are packed full of nutrients. Um, and yes, they are what you <laughs> used back in the 90s to make the chia pets, I guess. Someone pointed that out. But you can use chia seeds as a substitute for eggs and recipes. I personally just use chia on morning oatmeal. I like oatmeal in the morning, and I just sprinkle it on top with all my other nuts and stuff, or in smoothies. Packed full of nutrients. Um, this is some of the grains you would have seen in my grains post. Millet, this wheat germ, um, bulgur from the bulk bins. Here's some bacon fat. Remember, guys, saturated fat is not um, bad for you in healthy amounts. It's not bad at all. Your body does... Um, it's good for your body to have saturated fats, actually. Yes, I'm going to go on record saying that. Um, homemade jelly, Newman's Own salsa. I mentioned salsa, I think, under snacks or maybe the... Maybe taco night dinner. Um, salsa, you know what? It's basically a whole food. Don't stress too much about it. I buy organic when it's on sale. Just, it's okay. Salsa overall is, is a decent snack for you as far as snacks go. Here is um, that jar of cream of mushroom soup that I saved from the cream of mushroom soup post I did. Um, so I'll be saving that for the next time I make a roast. Uh, down here I have a lot of, this is mostly just my company's products that I use for tastings and for myself. Um, I did want to point out this brand, Francesco Rinaldi. Um, <clears throat> this is the 2B brand. This is what I use a lot for tomato sauce. I stock up when it's on sale. And, um, I don't know where it is. I'll mention it. Oh, it's seasoned with, um, it doesn't have sugar in it. It just uses, like, carrot juice, carrot puree, I believe. Yes. Um, so that's kind of nice. It's just no sugar added, all veggies. So we use that a lot in the house. Um, and then, yes. This is the only thing in my house that has high fructose corn syrup in it. But, <laughs> um, you know what? I have a recipe for barbecue sauce. It's just not gotten around to making it yet. And so this is literally the one and only thing. And honestly, guys, to tell you the honest truth, in my perspective, I would rather have something with barbecue sauce in it or high fructose corn syrup in it than um, preservatives or artificial colors. So it's not good for you, definitely not a health food, cut it out whenever possible, but one or two things I'm going to tell you. Oh, and yes, we like that on berries sometimes, I will admit. I do make my own whipped cream, but sometimes I just don't feel like making it, and I use that, and my son really likes these berries with cream, so that's what we do for him a lot. Okay, well, I'm already up to 10 minutes in this video, so feel free to pause and come back 
later. I'm sorry, there's just so much to talk about with food. Um,